Hello, my name is Steven Steffes, and I will be attending uh, Independence High School this fall. Um, this summer, I had the opportunity to be a part of the science internship program at the Cleveland Clinic. I was in the emergency department at main campus with Dr. Sharon Mace. The title of my presentation was Characteristics of an Observation Unit at, at an Academic Tertiary Care Hospital. An observation medicine unit, or simply an observation unit in emergency medicine, um, provides streamlined diagnostic evaluation and treatment for patients. They were implemented in order to provide care for patients who are too ill to receive outpatient care but do not quite need hospital care. Patients are roomed in an observation unit for a set t time frame, undergoing constant evaluation and observation by hospital staff. It's usually up to 24 hours. The advantages of an observation unit are increased patient, patient satisfaction, fast, efficient workup, labs and imaging are readily available at all times, and shorter inpatient hospital stay. Um, also, there's decreased cost and more comfortable environment for patient, family members, and friends. Um, this, pie graph, oh, this pie graph represents the percentage of patients who are admitted for different reasons. 15% are uh, admitted for psychosocial illnesses. 15% uh, are also um, admitted for outpatient procedures. And 50% are admitted for uh, diagnostic evaluation, and 20% are for therapy for their condition. The variables we looked at uh, for that may influence length of stay and disposition are demographics, including ethnicity, age, and gender. Diagnostic testing, which includes labs, imaging, consults, um, and treatment variables, which include IV fluids, aerosols, medication, and finally, medical history. Um, the, length of, the average length of stay for admitted pa pediatrics patients is oh, about 11 hours. The uh, average discharge pediatric stays a little over eight hours. The discharged um, adult non-geriatric stays about 13 hours, and the discharged patient uh, non-geriatric patient stays about 11. The admitted uh, geriatric adult stays about 14 hours, and the discharged geriatric patient stays a little under 12 hours. The average overall pediatric length of stay is 10.31 hours, or 10 hours and 19 minutes. The, the average non-geriatric adult length of stay is 11.29 hours, or 11, point, or 11 hours and 17 minutes. The average geriatric adult length of stay is 12 hours and one or 12 hours and four minutes. Uh, the most common chief complaints that we saw during um, the project were chest pains, which was 90 out of 282 patients, or 32 percent. Abdominal pain was 56 out of 282 patients, which is about 20 percent. Shortness of breath, which was 38 out of 282 patients, or 13.48 percent and nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea was 33 out of 282, which is about 12%. Headaches um, took about 8% of the patients with 22 out of 282. Um, many of the most ch uh, common chief complaints require several la uh, lab tests, radiology studies, and consults to rule out serious life-threatening conditions such as myocardial infractions or MI heart attacks. Um, the average length of stay for most common chief complaints, um, chest pain um, over 12 hours was about 20% um, and um, as you can see that the chief, or when you come in with chest pain, they need to do more testing um, for evaluation to make sure it's no, uh, no more serious um, disease or illness. Um, the most common diagnoses in the observation unit for adults are chest pain, abdominal pain, congestive heart failure, asthma, syncope, transient ischemic attack, chronic obstruction, pulmonary disease, and for pediatrics it's asthma, dehydration, abdominal pain, gastroenteritis, pneumonia, fever, and head injury. Um, Many of the most common diagnoses in adults require complex workups, lab tests, radiology studies, and consults, which results in longer length of stay and more hospital admissions. Many of the most common pediatric diagnoses do not require such extensive workups and fewer radiology studies are done to limit radiation exposure. 
Approximately 83% of observation unit patients are discharged home versus the 17% of uh, observation unit um, patients that are admitted into specific areas within the hospital. The highest rate of admission for a specific diagnosis is congestive heart failure with 53% or 50 of patients. The lowest rate of admission for a diagnosis is gastroenteritis, which is 4%. Um, in conclusion, only age, chief complaint, final diagnosis, use of radiology tests, and use of consults are associated with longer length of stay and disposition. Uh, MRI accounts for the most time spent during the radiology test. Gender, ethnicity, and medication use are not associated with longer length of stay or greater hospital admission rates. Um, pediatric patients overall have a shorter length of stay and lower admission rate compared to the adult patients. Pediatric patients use fewer resources than adults, which may help the emergency department in future planning. Better management of chronic conditions such as congestive heart failure and chronic obstruction pulmonary disease can prevent the emergency room and observation unit visits or reduce length of stay. Um, I would like to thank my mentor, Dr. Sharon Mace, for giving me the opportunity to uh, shadow her this summer. And I would also like to thank the Office of Civic Education Initiatives for giving me the opportunity to sign up for this a program. And I would like to thank my peer mentor, Andreana Stevens, um, and my other fellow students. And I would like to thank the uh, emergency department as a whole for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.